today i'm going to try and fit this uh, loconet universal panel along with a load of other connectors and plugs on my n-gauge model railway how hard is that going to be So as you've seen, I've been cutting a hole in the fascia on my uh, model railway and that's because I want to fit a Digitrax UP5. This is the, uh, this is the faceplate for it, but the thing that actually goes behind the faceplate is here. This is a piece of electronics uh, that gives me, it's got uh, five uh, Loconet connectors uh, attached to it. It can take a power supply, not quite sure why, um, and I can also hook up the uh, track feed from my uh, DCC controller in order to uh, control a indicator lamp. And this is all fitted behind a panel in the fascia. It'll give me two plugs to plug in uh, throttles on the fascia and it'll also give me uh, some more uh, loco net connectors on the inside to string it into my loco net bus. Now while I'm at it I also want to uh, install this. This is a USB uh, cable. It's, uh, it's just got a, uh, I think it's USB B, um, male to female. Um, but I can attach this to the inside of some sort of panel, again, on the fascia. Uh, and this I can connect to my PR4 on the inside of the layout. This will give me a nice plug on the fascia where I can plug in my computer. I'm also going to be looking at uh, the connectors that I need just here, where my, uh, the two boards on my layout join together. There's several things that pass across that joint. Uh, there's, the, uh, there's the DCC bus. Um, but there's also the loco net and the S88 uh, network as well. So I'm going to have fine ways of connecting those cables so I can disconnect it, disconnect the wiring and uh, separate the two panels. Let's get to it.
Okay, so that's a good start. The, uh, the throttle seems to work and drive the train, so obviously I've got the uh, loco net connected to the panel correctly. That's great. There's a couple more things I can do. Um, the first is I can uh, connect the panel to the track bus, the main sort of uh, DCC bus, um, and that uh, that will drive the track status uh, LED indicator on the panel. So I'll wire that up. I think that's just uh, two uh, wire connections, so that's uh, nice and simple. Um, the other thing is there's a power supply, um, or there's an option to attach a power supply. And if I do that, then I think it means the, uh, the throttle won't use the battery that it's got uh, actually inside the throttle, and that saves the battery when it's plugged in. Um, but if I was to do that, uh, first I need a power supply. Uh, I haven't got one on hand at the moment. Um, and uh, you also need to uh, connect um, all the panels that you have on your layout together. There's a sort of common connection, and I assume that that means they all have the same reference voltage uh, across all the different power supplies attached to each one. Um, so uh, for that reason, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I might do that once I've got a, a DC uh, power supply uh, sort of bus uh, across my layout. Um, I want to provide a, a 12 volt supply, a 5 volt supply, possibly a 3.5 volt supply, um, just uh, going around, around the layout and powering all the, all the various different devices that need uh, uh, DC power. Uh, but I'll come on to sorting that out a bit later. So the next thing I want to do is to try and mount this uh, USB socket. Um, in order to do this, I'm going to first try and use a electrical outlet blanking plate. Um, but that might be a bit too thick. I don't know. I'll give it a go. And if it doesn't work, I'll start again. Um, probably try and use a piece of plastic card.
So I've made a start on creating the hole uh, in the faceplate. Just got a whole load of filing uh, to go, and eventually I'll get it nice and smooth. Once it's done, I'm going to super glue the uh, socket in place and then drill, uh, drill some holes and uh, secure it using uh, the bolts that came with it. So there we go, we're all done. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with the result. It's a shame the panels don't match, but uh, uh, it still looks pretty neat and tidy, and I'll be able to move it onto the outside of the fascia where they'll eventually install that. Uh, the only things I need to do now is just to uh, hook up the wires uh, on the inside. I need to uh, feed the, the loco net bus uh, going first into the, the panel and then into the PR4. Um, that feeds uh, feeds this USB connector um, and then back on onto the rest of the uh, loco net devices. I mentioned uh, I, there's one more thing I need to do which is to work out how to to uh, join the loco net and the SN uh, the S88 bus um, across the join here uh, between the two uh, boards. Um, the way I'm going to do that is with these uh, female to female uh, connectors. So I've got one here for RJ12s and I've got one here for um, RJ45. Uh, uh, and so I think I'll just glue them uh, somewhere on the frame there and that'll uh, allow me to unplug uh, the wire that actually goes across the join um, in order to separate the boards without any problems. Well, I'm grateful to you for joining me again. As you can see, I'm starting to get to grips uh, with some of the wiring around my layout. Um, hopefully, I'll soon be able to uh, get back to laying the track uh, on my staging yard 
and hopefully eventually completing the circuit.